This is Filbert, I think. He's one of my also new villagers. So I've decided since last time we were talking about making it kind of like Akatar themed. And I love that, but I think I might just end up making it like cozy cottage core celestial vibes, like make the whole island just celestial. So I was thinking I would want all the villagers to be vaguely celestial because I know there's a couple other ones. But yeah. Oh, hi, Henry and Claire. Um, oh, thank you, Harper. I've been patiently waiting for Sparrow to leave my island. Get him going. But yeah, so, so far I like that there's like a couple, a lot of villagers that have blue. Um, so I'm going to probably keep that going. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with Filbert. I'm happy with Savannah. I'm happy with... That's about it. <laughs> Uh, so you got to wait until someone tells you they want to leave. You can't go villager hunting without someone telling you they want to leave. I don't have all my spots filled up, though. I only have five out of ten. So I feel like you can ask people to come visit. But I could be wrong. Caitlin, you're you're villager hunting right now. How have you been doing it? I yeeted Tammy on my island the moment it was available. Just get her gone. Get her gone. When you have new plots, you can villager hunt. Okay, so I need to make new plots. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You can go to islands on the plane. I didn't know that part. <laughs> I already know that part. I used to do this. I used to know how to do this. I just forgot. Oh no, my main area is like closed right now. All right, let's just hop in. Enough chatting. We're already there. My favorite villager. Gosh, that's really hard to choose. I mean, Celeste is my favorite, but she's not a villager. She's like an NPC. My favorite villager. I really like Marshall. I like Goldie a lot. I love Poppy. I love Poppy. I love Fauna. Fauna. Um, I love that like celestial squirrel. And I love the unicorn. And I love... I have a whole list. I listed them all in my phone. <laughs> Audie. I really liked Audie. Um, okay. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's 1.59 p.m. this happy Thursday, March 14th, 2024. So that's 1.59. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like to my time. Um, Bob's your favorite? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Judy. Oh, Judy's so good. Lynn, thank you so much for the heart puff and the other heart puff. And Maddie Elizabeth, thank you so much for three times the heart puff. Eve, thank you so much for the resub. And Bella and Rose, thank you so much for the resub as well. Early stream, exactly. I mentioned yesterday the resident services is closed due to construction. I realize this may be a bit of an inconvenience, but I promise the island will be better for it. You'll see. As you can imagine, I'll have my pause full today with the resident services construction. I'll be getting back to that now. Have a good day, everyone. Okay, well, great. So I kind of just am chilling today. Should just skipped today, but it's fine. Love when you stream early so I can watch. Yay! Hi back to my Europe friends that are excited about the early stream today. Maddie Elizabeth, thank you so much for 26 months. We love to see it. Tom Nook, can you please give me back my family? Oh no. <laughs> Tell him. It's like a noise outside. But this is so welcome. This is my little house. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Who's calling me? It's Tommy. Yeah, it's me. I've sent a payment to my account for the what I left in the drop off box. Okay, yes, I left some stuff in the drop off box last night. Oh, thank you for using the service. Hope to see you in the draft soon. Nice. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. I probably should delete the or move this tree because it's like literally right in front of my house. Let's see what we got here today. Oh, I did a lot of shopping yesterday because I made a lot of money. And Gulliver gave me a present. Spoiler warning for the rest of this letter. It's Gulliver. Please accept this big uh, gift. It's a big old thank you for saving me. It probably had more peaceful voyage to your island than I did. I'm jealous. Then we got a garden lantern, which I thought would be really nice. We got some rain boots and then the Luigi hat, the Mario hat, and the Wario hat. I just want to collect all of the items in that collection, to be honest. But as you can see, I have my peach Princess Peach crown. I'm very excited about it. And this is my little house so far it's not a tent anymore <laughs> that's exactly where your house is too nice what's this game called it's animal crossing Catherine, thank you so much for sending two paper cranes so welcome to my my house i kind of decorated it a little bit i don't have a lot of stuff so this is the best i could do but this is my house so far you know i had to make sure she cute <laughs> 
Oh, and then over here we have my hamster and my little DIY area. Yeah, and that's my house. Let's open up my packages. I love the garden lanterns. So I'm excited to put those everywhere. Rain boots. Oh, those are cute. I think I'll put those in storage. Let's see the Luigi hat. I probably won't wear this instead of my... Oh, wait, I look so cute in that. We got a little Mario hat too. I didn't realize like I couldn't buy the outfits yet. So, oh, but that matches my fit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear that. I'll put the rest of this stuff in storage. And then I got a gift from the seagull friend. Oh, it's a veil. Oh, so pretty. Uh, oh my God, the veil is so pretty. I'm gonna put that in storage too. So yeah, this is my little house. You want to see my outfit under the swimsuit? It's just the outfit you're like, you start with, unfortunately. So I don't put that on very much. <laughs> I don't have an outfit yet. The peach chair is so cute. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. I love my little peach chair. And yeah, and I love my little flooring. It's very cute. I would change the pattern on this little bed if I could, but I can't. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it looks so cute. Thanks. I'm proud of it. So that's my house. When will you play The Sims again? Uh, I literally play The Sims almost every other time. So mostly any other time. <laughs> Probably on Sunday, but you know, you never know. I don't know. I'm kind of... I really love the Let's Plays I've been doing with The Sims, but I'm kind of in my... Like... The Sims is bu bugging me lately, era because they've been having a lot of glitches and annoying things going on. Um, I'm gonna eat one of these and move this tree. Oh no, I, meant, I didn't mean to do that. Go back, go back. Come back, come back, shovel. Okay. Um, you're gonna play while I play, nice! But yeah, I eat, I play The Sims almost every other time. So odds are, if you're gonna tune in, I will probably play The Sims. But today is just a special day that I'm not. The house is adorable, thank you. Also good to take breaks from games. Yeah, it is good to take breaks, but I totally get it. I, you know, I know that when you come to my streams, you're used to me playing The Sims. Uh, so I get it. Hopefully you like this one too, but I totally get it if you're more of a Sims friend, fan. Uh, okay, so I finally moved this. That feels good. I'm gonna probably put, I actually kind of want, one thing I wanted to do today was like make a, um, like make a, what's it called? Oh my gosh. A, um, Oh, a place where all the trees are together. A grove. No. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. What's it called? Orchard. Orchard. Appreciate all the peeps staying for something new. Yeah, thank you guys for ch chilling with me. Rocking with me. I'm also trying to get some flowers. So we're going to water our flowers today. I got inspired to restart my island because you did. Oh my gosh, how fun. Look at us striking out on our own together. Orchard. Yes, Lizzie. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's just this, yeah, post new EP that I like did not like, <laughs> slump. But I'm really enjoying my Let's Plays on my YouTube channel right now and my Barbie Let's Play. So it's definitely been still giving me a little bit of life, uh, but it's good for me to take breaks, especially since I'm kind of like, uh. <gasps> are those pink? Oh my gosh, I think these ones are pink. I think I got pink. Oh, I hope so, I hope so, I hope so. Oh my gosh, I hope that I got some pink roses. I think these ones are red. I don't know if they're pink up here. But I think those ones right there might be pink. Ah, I'm so excited. Bloom's Tower Defense. I've never heard of that. I'm gonna grab this beautiful. No, I missed the bug. RIP, oh well. I already got that bug in my, um, in my, what's it called? Museum. The museum's also here. I got the museum built. So, did, did quite a bit of work since we've last hung out, unfortunately, or fortunately, I suppose, depending on if you're like, if you wanted to see it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got really excited. I was very passionate. Yes, some flower breeding is going on, you know, trying my best. There's also some flower breeding in another location, so... Gotta go to the other one. Most of the flower breeding's right here because I found all, I bought all the flowers from Nook's Cranny and just put them next to my house to be convenient. Um, but there is some up on a little hill. All right, all the flowers are watered. So let's 
Let's take a little tour. So that was my house. Obviously, this is like the main area and it's under construction today. If you go, someone gave this to me, so I put it here. I don't think it'll stay for very long. Uh, here's my museum. Again, it's not really that nice yet. And then next to it is the Nook's Cranny. It's kind of my downtown area. <laughs> I'm Chelsea and Peach K. Well, my name is Kelsey and Peach K, but yes, I did have a sim named Chelsea and Peach Schmay. Uh, and I did do the 100 baby challenge. So yes, right on the money there. We can send you stuff. You know, you probably could send me stuff. That's true. We could we could do that. So, oh, look how cute this is. Can you change in this? Is this one of those like changing rooms? A clothes closet. Oh, that is really cute. But it's not really in my theme, but I might buy it anyway. Just for fun. Thank you for the money. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, I don't like any of the other stuff. Is there anything new in here? Uh, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, what's up, Maya? Maya in the chat. Over here, do you say hi, Maya, on TikTok? Bubble blower. Bro. Wait a second. That feels like I need it for like a party. And I'm like, I don't want to buy a bubble blower. Because I'm just going to, like, you know, not, I'm going to just use that. Can you customize the ironing board and get, and it gets so cute? You can customize it? Okay, thank you for the hot tip. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> I literally saw I played again and I forgot how to play. Literally same. I've forgotten so many things, but it's kind of fun. It's like rediscovering everything. I literally discovered your channel through the 100 Booby Speed Run with Chelsea. Nice spirit. I love it. Yeah, Chelsea's my girl. You know, I totally get people. People call me Chelsea. It's all good. It's pretty close to my name. Um, I'm addicted to your content. Love that. Yay. Does Nook Cranny sell English muffins? No. Does yours? Look at little Chew. Look at that boy. He thick. From this angle, at least. Catherine, thank you so much for the paper cranes. I was wondering if your first house in the 100 infant challenge is on the gallery. I don't know. I know my current one is. Okay, so then... Oh, we got a butthole. Repeat, butthole situation. Boom, baby. If you see one, say something, you know? Your name is Chelsea? Nice! Let's go, Chelsea's. Oh, let's look at my little map really quick. We can show you off everything. I have one bridge. And then I have Filbert. I have Mary, who I really like Mary, so I think I'll keep her. Deidre, she's growing on me, but she's not my favorite. Coach, gotta get out of here. Get out of here, Coach. I feel like, though, I'm pretty good. Oh, I'm blocking everything on... Here, let me move me up, I guess. Or maybe like down. I don't know. I'm gonna move me up temporarily. These are my residents. These are my ladies. Uh, but Coach is my least favorite. He is actually the worst. And I love Savannah. She cute. Um, but yeah, I have I have pretty good starter villagers, I think. Like they're pretty decent. I, I think I would trade Deidre and Coach. But Mary, Filbert, and Savannah are like pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, the butthole emote returns. <laughs> it returns, Karina. What do you do on the game? You um, you play as your little character and you're just like kind of meeting the other villagers, making friends, decorating the island, collecting items. It's like it, you go fishing, you can, um, you can like decorate. It's mainly like kind of decoration for me. Um, you get to like collect items and display them in the museum, which is really fun. We'll do that in a second. Um, and you purchase like cute outfits and stuff. Let's see, my Nook Miles. Got some Nook Miles for the day. There we go. Yeah, hi Savannah. Hello y'all. That's adorable. I'm trying to make the most of today. Great, girl. Love that for you. Ooh, someone's in here. Let's go. I want to make sure I catch one of the villagers if they're, like, doing any, like, DIYs. I need the DIY stuff. The zebra is so cute. I know. Isn't she cute? Okay, this is Deidre, by the way. She's growing on me. I don't love the white lips, but other than that, she's okay. Cool of you to drop in whatevs. I also don't like her catchphrase as whatevs. It's not for me. My digs aren't fancy, but you can stay as long as you want. Let's chat. 
Did you really spend yesterday burying bells all over the place? Yes. I thought there's gonna be a better ways of giving back to Luna Cove than that. Whatever. See, she's just sassy, and I don't like it. I don't like. It. Also, she asked for a bug, and now she displayed it, and I don't like that either. So you know, not a fan. <laughs> I named my island Sunny Palm because I have the suggestion from your stream. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. Do you ever play Harvest Moon? You know, I've never played it, but I've had friends that have played it and they said that I would like it. I know that's the original, right? Oh, shoot. So little hack here is that when you're hitting these rocks, it'll cause you to bounce back. So if you don't already, I, I dig up at least two holes behind me. So it bounces me to the holes and then I don't waste time and I can get all five. So here we go. Or all six, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you can get them all. Cause if you don't do that, sometimes you won't. It, it runs, it's like starts a timer once you start hitting it. Anyway, that's a little hack. I'm sure plenty of you already know it, but if you did it, there you go. Am I gonna carry on the Taylor Swift Airs challenge? Not currently because my file was corrupted, unfortunately. Here we go, we're gonna go fish a little bit. See if we get a new fish. Oh. Get in there, girl. I have played Disney Dreamlight. I played that a ton of times. <gasps> I got a new fish! That's a new one. Olive flounder, it's not the pits. Yay, I got a new fish! That's exciting. I can't wait to give it to my, uh, to my, my friend at the museum. I'm gonna look around a bit more before I go to the museum. Yeah. Oh, hello, butterfly. I'm in the mode where I like capture everything because then I get to sell it. But I've already gotten that one. I've been obsessed with Disney Dreamlight Valley lately. Oh, I love Disney Dreamlight Valley. Oh wait, someone's here. Okay, so this is another house. I think this is Coach's house. Oh, and my money tree's full grown, so I can go get my monies. No, I love that challenge. I know, it's so frustrating. It was really frustrating. It's one reason why I'm annoyed with the Sims right now. Coach is making something sh stubble. I hate that catchphrase. What's up? You're not gonna believe it, but I made a wooden field sign. Oh, cute. Okay, I like, I like signs. Could have been dehydration. Stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine and you know I'm all about sharing my routine. Yes, I would love it. Please teach me. Paper I wrote the recipe on, I vote for the paper. How do you get a money tree? I will teach you. I was about to plant another one actually. As long as you can read my handwriting, you've got this. Okay. I hope I can. And sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a wooden fuel sign. Let's see what it looks like under DIY. Oh, it's ugly. Oh, you guys can't see again. Let me move me again. There it is. Ugh, I don't like it. Ugly, don't want, no thanks. We talked to our neighbors today. It's your first stream, what's up? Well, welcome. Making me want to go on Animal Crossing for the first time in years. Literally, this is what happened to me. And you guys can blame Caitlyn because she started, she did this first. Okay, so this is my money tree. You only get it once. It doesn't regrow money a second time. So you only, it grows to maturity and then gives you the money. But I got all my money. Woo! Okay. This one's going to be a money tree. This one I planted before. Who's in this house today? No one? Okay. All right, let's go across. I think the bridge is up here. Yeah, it is. I need to be able to make more bridges, but I haven't unlocked that yet. All right, so we're going down here. I saw it in the credits earlier. Yep, okay, so you look around your island. There's one of these every day. Oh, what's up, Filbert? Hey there, Kelsey. This island smells so good. It's like peaches. Wow, it is. makes my tummy growl. So um, I got a whole welcome to the island thing, but for you, even though you already live here, it's not weird. Oh, he gave me a present. A glowing moss balloon. Oh, they're great as decorations too. You can stick them anywhere. Okay. Oh, okay. Philbert has won me over. You can stay, Philbert. You can stay. You called me bucko and that, that was adorable. Like, what is this? Oh. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah. Thanks. It looks like a planet. Anyway, every day on your island, there's going to be like a little glowy point like this. This is like you can dig it up and there'll be money inside. So you dig it up and you're like, oh, my God. Look, I dug up a thousand bells. This is great. Okay. So what you do after you do that, keep the hole open. Go to your inventory. Okay. Take 10,000 bells. You can have up to 10,000. I think you do it in like in five. So you can, you can plant like a thousand bells. You can plant 5,000 bells or you can plant 10,000 bells. But if you plant more than 10,000 bells, you won't get more than, than that. If that makes sense. So you plant an amount of bells back in and whatever you plant in you get three bags of of that like a few days later once the tree grows it'll it'll like bloom with the bells on it kind of like you know like like plants do with fruits and there'll be three money bags equivalent to how much you put in so if i put in ten thousand i'll get ten thousand ten thousand ten thousand so thirty thousand in total if that makes sense so you do it but you can put in as much as you want I normally do the maximum because maximum profit. Um, so yeah, and then you, so you click on the 10,000, make sure that you're facing it. So right then I wasn't facing it. So it didn't uh, uh, let me uh, click on it and give me the option. So I click on 10,000 and it says bury in hole. So you bury it in the hole and there you have it. And then in a few days, I might push this back, this furniture back so that uh, there's a little more room for that tree, but in a few days it will come up and there will be money in it. And uh, since I do this almost every day, I get like a new tree every day that gives me uh, bonus monies. And there you go. If you didn't know how to do that, but but it won't. It will only give you that money once. So once the tree grows and it gives you the money and you take the money down, it's not going to give you money again. Um, so you got to keep an eye out for every every day. Uh, It'll give you a little option to do that. And then you just kind of invest your money. <gasps> yes! Okay, there were some shooting stars on my island last night, but I didn't see a ton of them. But I got to wish on a couple of them. So I got some stars. But I didn't see Celeste. I went all over my island and I didn't see her. I'm so annoyed. It's like, <laughs> Celeste, come back. Oh. I'm gonna let it go then. I don't want you. <laughs> go away. Okay, let's collect more stuff. Oop. Thank you. Any more? Yay. Uh, okay. That's all for this side of the island. I love this game so much too. Will you try to carry on with the Eris challenge or is that it? Sorry for all the questions. Um, no worries. Um, that's it. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be carrying on because I don't have, I would have to redo all of it. <laughs> uh, so I'd have to restart everything. Oh, hey, Mary. Um, so I'm not going to, I started a new challenge since then. It's the Barbie, uh, legacy challenge. You should check that out. If you haven't, if you're not up to date, you might've missed that. I started that challenge. Um, most of the episodes are up on YouTube now. You can catch up. Um, but it's been a lot of fun starting a new challenge. Unfortunately, it just, just means the Taylor Swift legacy is not continuing, at least not right now. But never say never. Oh, what's up, Raiders? Thank you guys so much for the raid. If you're new here, I'm Kelsey Dangerous. And today I'm playing the um, Stardew... No, my God. Um, I'm playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I just restarted my island. I deleted it on Sunday, and I've only been working on it this week. So still early days, babe. Still early days. Oh, we got Chewy moved in a new location. Speaking of Chewy, I just realized I don't have my... Um, my reward requests up here so apologies if you've been requesting stuff looks like no one has so that's perfect uh, did you ever play minecraft yes i've played minecraft multiple times on this channel i've also played it for charity events in um com competitions and things like that well i haven't played it in a minute though why hello blathers yes i would like you to assess my fossils please we only picked up like a couple though You've been rewatching my fairy tale Rags to Riches since you started Rags to Royalty. Yes, the prequel. I love it. Makes me happy. What books do you recommend for 12 to 13 year olds? Huh, um, I, I don't read a lot of that genre myself, um, but I would look into middle grade. Is that that's normally kind of where those books lie? Um, I would also look into young adult, but young adult, you know, it would just depend on 
on the book um, because a lot of those kind of are more in the like 17, 18 year old kind of category. So if they're 12, 13, I would go for middle grade. Th things like um, Percy Jackson is like a really good fantasy middle grade series. Um, so like, yeah, th books like that, I would, I would look into that. If you haven't done Percy Jackson, I do recommend Percy Jackson. Go check that one out. Um, I know my inventory is full, uh, which is why I'm giving away some stuff right now. Of course it can be nothing but a mammoth torso. Yeah. We're going to get the mammoth torso. I'll get, I'll give you guys a tour of my, um, of my museum so far. I'm donating it. Oh, yes, please give me a presentation, Blather, about mammoths. Mammoths, the bad boys and girls of the ancient mammal world. So wooly, so unkept. They are, of course, the most famous for their size, which could be up to 13 tons for the largest males. That they were subject to no one's rules, and some species were smaller than modern elephants. Whoa, scientists have pondered for years. Were mammoths the coolest of all extinct species? Perhaps so. And that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> Cute. Um, yeah. Land of Stories is also so good. I've never heard of that one. Books typically have a suggestion age range on them if you look at them online. Ooh, there you go. It's Briar uh, Violet's Firstborn. I don't remember. I think they might have had a son. I literally forgot what kids they had. I just was like, and this is their daughter um, who's grown up. So I haven't really, like thought too hard about the lore there. So I don't know if she's the firstborn. My guess is she's the second born, but I, uh, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> we're going to work on the rest of this fossil blathers. Okay. And then I'm going to make another donation. I think I only have one new item. Yeah. It's just this little fish here. The olive flounder. Um, woohoo, this is undoubtedly an olive flounder. Now I might interest you in a few fascinating uh, facts about your olive flounder. Um, GRWM, this is what Caitlin, my one of my besties, has to say here on uh, Twitch. I feel like I'm talking between, <laughs> like I'm like, I'm, I'm like, you know, like playing telephone, telling you guys across platforms who's saying what. But Caitlin, um, little backstory, Caitlin's worked as a um, school librarian. So she's probably got the best recs for, for middle grade um, books. So she said, The Girl Who Ate the Moon, Percy Jackson, anything by Tamora Pierce, um, a lot of Minecraft series if uh, kiddos are into Minecraft. Uh, bad, The Bad Guys was super popular with kids she worked with last year. And she could keep going. So there you go. GRWM. Hopefully you got plenty of book recs for the 12 to 13 age range. All right, we're gonna learn more about the olive flounder. It's the same shape as other fish when it hatches. Oh, but it, as it grows, it gets both wider and flatter and can reach some three feet long. Whoa, these flatfish spend most of their lives buried under the sandy ocean floor waiting for prey to happen by. Imagine the surprise for said prey when they strike. It would be as if your kitchen floor were to bite you. <laughs> And there you have it. That actually is a very funny way of saying that, Blathers. I love it. Nope, I'm good. That's all I got. We okay. Um, so let's start. Let's start down here. I'll give you guys a tour. I don't have a lot of stuff, so it's gonna be a very brief tour, but I think it's kind of fun to see like where we're starting. Um, so this is like my downstairs area. As you can see, not a lot going on. We got that little thing. We got that guy. Got a couple guys here in this one, but mostly it's empty. And that's going to be a theme for the rest of my museum. <laughs> mostly it's empty. Um, bye GRWM. Have a great rest of your day. All right. So over here we have a fish butt. We got a lot of butts over here um, and just a, like a random arm. This is the one I have finished. It's the pterodactyl. I finished the pterodactyl. I'm very proud of that. Stegosaurus, we got the butt or no, that's the head. Head of, and we got, ooh, we got all but the butt of this one. I don't know who you are. And then we've got like a bit of the, I think that's the T-Rex. Let me see, maybe not the T-Rex. No, it's the, um, it's the one with the long neck. Uh, that I've got a bit of right here. I don't have anything of the T-Rex. I think this is where the T-Rex goes. Uh, again, we got a lot of heads and butts. So just not a lot going on here at the moment. <laughs> uh, nothing there. Nothing to see there. That's where it is. 
Uh, but yeah, this is kind of my little area. Also, this is a fun fact that I literally just discovered. I'm sure most of you already know this, but if you stand on the blue, the little blue things on the floor, it adjusts the camera so you can see more of the of the um, room that you're in. So, ba-da! Shows the whole room. I didn't realize that. In lit I played 260 hours of this game, so. So good at this. I want to restart my island. I didn't know what I was doing in the beginning. Purple Lily, exactly. You should join me and do it. Oh, I got a new little spot here. What are you? Oh, the mammoth! Okay, that's where the mammoth went. Nice! And we got a little guy right here. I think it's like some sort of deer looking thing. Mega Lossaurus. But yeah, I thought this was also kind of cute. I like this room because you can stand up here and you can see what like the different types of characters are related to, like their ancestors. So we've got like the like the deer, right? Like is related to that one. And like our little like elephants right are related to the this one i think it's cute and <laughs> um i wonder when the cafe is added to the museum i've literally been wondering that too i was like i don't have a cafe yet so i wonder when that happens because when i was playing it just added it to the game like i didn't have to unlock it you know so oh Your dog name is Kel? Oh my gosh, how fun. Uh, okay. I think, I think that's all for the dinosaurs section. So there you have it. Not a lot going on here. I just got switched and just started playing. Nice, Devin, love that. Peach Schmay live. Yeah, welcome. You're now here in the wild. If you have, you have to get a cap, get Cap'n before Brewster. Who's Cap'n? All right, up here is my art. It is empty except for one piece. And then over here is the bugs. Hopefully gonna buy this game tomorrow. Nice. And this is my bug area. I feel like I have the most of the bugs, but I still don't have a ton of bugs. Look at that little guy. We've got, do we have any on here? Nope, none there. I think there's like, I thought there was fish in that area, but there is not. We've got like, yes, a, a bee and like that weird beetle guy. Oh, and we've got a couple over here. And this guy is hopping around. That's fun. Okay, there's the koi fish. See the koi fish right there? We got a butterfly up there. Yeah, not not a lot of bugs. Like I said, okay, I just started. <laughs> there's not a lot going on. Let's go into the butterfly place though. That's one of my favorite places to go. The museum in this one is so pretty. I know, I love the museum. You get the cafe in the museum once you go to an island with the little frog on the boat. Oh, okay. This is my butterfly section. And there's a koi fish in my little thing. I didn't realize they put the koi in there too. That's really cute. There's my butterflies. You haven't found the koi yet. The koi I found on a different island, so I went island hopping. We got like a little moth here, a little centipede. Oh, we got my pretty, my pretty, um, what's it called? Orchid, it's like an orchid mantis. Yeah, I like my orchid mantis. That one's pretty, that's new since I've been here last. Um, is there anything in here? Yeah, no, there's not. There's nothing in those two at the moment. Oh, but I have some in here. Little guys, I got the hermit crab in there and those things that I got on the rock earlier and then I had to ditch. Nothing in this one yet. Oh, but look, we got some butterflies in here. Oh, that's cute. Okay, you know, it's slow and steady kind of vibes, you know? I love the museum music too. Has gotten back into Animal Crossing the last few weeks. I know, right? The Renaissance is here. Oh, we got a ladybug here too. My ladybug. Uh, yeah, loving it. Loving life here. 
sand roach. Yes, that's what it's called, the sand roach. All right, let's go up into the back. I, I think that's a different spot, but I don't really remember. Excuse me. Yeah, like what's up here? I forget. How long have you played this game? Since Sunday. So less than a week I've been playing. Uh, Wait, nope, it's the same spot. It's just a different way to get there. Oh. I hate going in one of the rooms and getting bit. What? Wait, what? You get bit? When do you get bit? I haven't gotten bit in this game. Ooh, spooky. Mm -hmm. All right, and then over here is my fish area. Again, it's gonna be a really bear, but I feel like it's fun to, to look at least to see what I've got so far. Okay, so we got the goldfish right here. And we've got a couple little fishies right here. And we've got, that one's empty. Um, There's my koi. A couple other fishies over here. Look at that. I like the bittering. He's the little, little guy right there. And then the loche. Uh, in here, I have a whole lot of nothing. Love it. <laughs> Probably the mosquito. Oh, it bites you. I don't have the mosquito yet. And the spider, too. I don't have the spider either. What game is this? This is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, I've got one fish in here now. Big old tank for the one fish. <laughs> And then down here, I'm pretty sure it's empty. No, it looks like we've got something down here. What is it? Yeah. Oh my God, my little deep sea squids are down here now. A little deep sea squid. Wait. Yeah, my deep sea squids. Firefly squid is what they're called. That is so great. I didn't know, I hadn't seen it since they've been added. So that's fun. Another fun thing is if you pause in front of these windows, it'll zoom out. Like you're inside. So cute. I add Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch, but I lost the game disc. Oh no. That's why I always download. It's like, I don't want to lose the game disc. I love this area. This one has like the little like, <laughs> these cute little like sea angels or whatever. Uh, and then right here, I've got a couple things in here. Got the sea slug, got the sea cucumber, little, little guys. And we've got like, this beneath me's got some fishes in there. We'll, dr we'll walk down here. Got a couple fish, like a red snapper and like other little fish. Oh, look, the new fish is down there. The olive thingy, the olive flounder is down there. Look at him go. Swimming like a weirdo on his side. Go off, Olive, Olive Flounder. Love that for you. Over here we got my little, my little guys. Got um, the seaweed. Yes, I added that. Acorn barnacle, and the turban shell. Yay! So fun. I love it. I love it. And yeah, that's my museum. Thanks for the tour. I've seen you live in your YouTube video since the first episode of the 100 Beef Challenge on Buzzfeed. Nice, thank you. How can you play Animal Crossing on PC? You can't, from what I know. It's a Nintendo exclusive game. It's a game made by Nintendo, so they only have it on Nintendo um, consoles. So right now, this, this Animal Crossing New Horizons is just on the Switch. Um, and the past ones have been on those platforms as well. Uh, there you have it. We, okay, so that was my cute patoot. Whose house is this? Is this dangerous house? Yeah, we've already been in there today. Um, oh, I'm gonna collect some stuff. I am running, I'm, I do have a, like a lot of things in my inventory right now. So maybe I'm gonna run home and put some things away and then I'll go sell the stuff so we can like remove stuff from my inventory. Am I looking to buy anything new in this Steam Spring Sale? Um, no, there's nothing on my mind at the moment. No games I've been looking forward to. Here to lurk, nice! Shim, wow, thank you so much for the resub. 
I wish they would give villagers more personality in the update or something. Yeah, that would be nice, huh? All right, we're going to put some stuff in storage. Oh, the clothes closet I might put out. Should I put it in the corner here, maybe? Just, like, for now. Oh, I'm going to turn it, though, I think. There you go. You can, like... Get changed. Oh, I can't change while wearing a wetsuit. Okay. I'm gonna take my wetsuit off. Although it looks so cute with my fit. Yeah, that's my usual fit. I hate it. Alright, let's see if we can get changed. I don't think I have that much. I don't think I have much Mitch clothing. Yeah, I don't really have anything else besides like these pants. I don't like this shirt at all. I mean, this is kind of a look, though. It's kind of cute. I got my little hats. I got this one. I got this little hat. This is kind of okay. This one's kind of cute. I got a lot of hats for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I just got this ugly plaid shirt. There you go. That's nice, though. That's why I keep the wetsuit on. Because I'm like, at least the wetsuit kind of looks better than <laughs> what's going on. Okay, let's put the gloss, the moss balloon. I don't know if I needed the moss balloon, but here we are. Ooh, a Pisces fragment. Okay, put no, I'm going to sell the sand dollars. We're going to put away the clay. And I used up all my peaches, so I should put some peaches in storage. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I wish it was easier to get rid of villagers you don't like. Same. You do have to kind of time travel a lot to get them out, huh? Okay. Let's go sell some stuff. Well, I don't know if there's going to be that much to do today besides, like, general just hanging out on the island stuff because... I was hoping we could villager hunt. Oh, hi, Mary. I mean, we could go and see if we could invite a new villager, but I think we have to like build stuff first, right? I don't know. I don't remember. <gasps> Message in a bottle. Okay. There we go. Let's open it and see what is going on. Oh, it's from Gonzo. I was cleaning my house and found this old DIY recipe. I thought... Whoever you are, I hope you're in the mood to craft up a brainstorm. See what happens. Oh, a Sen Mazuki barrel. I don't know what that is. I'm excited to see what it is. Do you have Nook Miles tickets? I have one ticket. I don't have a ton of them, but I could buy more. Oh, cute. It just takes a bunch of turnips. That's kind of cute. Oh, we should check my turnip prices today. See if any of you guys want to come uh, buy some turnips from me. Okay. Come here, gift. Blah. There we go. Third try. Alright, and we got a garden gnome. I want to see it. Oh, she's... He's cute. I love the pastels. So cute. Honestly, I feel like this would look good on Mary's house. This is Mary's house. Isn't her house the cutest? She's got a very cute house. When it, who's my favorite streamer? Me. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I really like Vixella. I like watching her. Um, who else do I like to watch? I love Dr. Glue on. His stuff's always so fun. He's always so funny and entertaining. Uh, I like watching Karen and Connie, but I tend to watch them on TikTok the most. And not when they're live. Ooh. Which animals do you have on your island? I have a zebra. I have a squirrel. I have a deer. I have a bull, I think. And I have 
um, a cat. I think that's it. I've managed, I've not managed uh, to catch Karen and Connie live, but I adore them. Yeah, they're live sometimes. I think I've seen them live once or twice. They're great. They actually joined, I don't know if you guys remember them from this, but they actually were, they worked at Buzzfeed kind of near the end of when I was working at Buzzfeed. So like we were on the same team for like a hot second, but we never like chatted that much. I didn't like see them day to day that much, but I got to see like their videos and stuff like that at Buzzfeed and what they were working on. And then I left Buzzfeed and then they started their own stuff on YouTube and they've just been crushing it. And it's so fun to watch them just bloom and grow. So super proud of them. Oh my gosh. How did you get animals on your island? You kind of just like, it kind of just happens as you go along. I skipped a lot of days, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but like the first two just show up, right? And then the, and then the more you like unlock things that our, our man, what's his name? Nook, Mr. Nook is telling you, the more you do the things Mr. Nook tells you to do, the more you like advance, I guess, the plot. And then at one point he's like, oh, I've been wanting to add more people to this island. Like you need to run around and, oh, flip, I didn't mean to do that. Um, he's like, you need to run around and, you know, get some plots ready for them. And so then I did that. And then after I got the plots ready, they showed up like the next day after the plots were done. So that's how it happens. But I don't know, I don't remember what the next step is to get like the next batch of animals on my island. So I'm kind of waiting for that. Oh, reminds you of Sim Gnomes? I know, right? Oh man, I've got, ah, okay. Well, I'm just gonna miss a couple of the items today. <laughs> Look at this like roly poly looking thing. I love he just jumped into the water. He's like, I'm, bye. And that's on not paying attention while I was hitting that rock. So it's my own fault, really. Okay, I've got a little area here that I am like trying to get some flowers to grow. I think it's like way over here. Okay, yeah, it is way over there. I didn't mean to do that, but here we are. I meant to water them. Yep, next will be your campsite villager, and I believe it'll be a smug character. I hope it's a good smug character. I got a fashiony girly. When do I get my campsite? Like, I want the campsite now. <laughs> like, do I need to fast travel and then I'll get my campsite? Okay, this is where I'm I'm growing some, some uh, roses. So hopefully tomorrow we'll start seeing some stuff. I Googled like what's the best configuration of flowers to get them to grow the new stuff. And this is the configuration I was given. So I just copied it from online. So if you're like, where did you get such an idea? Um, I didn't get the idea myself. I copied it and I hear a package on its way, a gift. Let's see where it's coming from. There it is. Oh God. There it is. Got him. I think this one's money because it was gold, but I always forget. Nope. A fishing boat flag. Wait, no, come back. I wanted to like place it. Oh, I guess maybe it goes on a wall. So I can't place it right now. Worst thing is you, uh, is you have to take your first campsite villager. No. Wait, you can't talk to Nook without the time traveling because the thing is under construction. Yeah, I think you just need to talk to him next. Okay. Yeah, because it's under construction. So I'm like, I think if we want to go hunting today, I'm going to have to time travel, but that's okay. I'm willing to do it. Who is on my island so far? We went over at the top, but Mary's on my island. We've got, what's his name? Uh, coach, who I hate. I have um, Philbert, who I like. 
I've got Savannah, and I've got Deidre. And I think that's all of them. I only have five. I caught a sea bass. At least there's no sea bass. Got him. First try, baby. Honeybee, sweet success. Do coconuts not show up every day? I think they don't show up every day. All right, people, coconuts. Fun, I love that you're playing uh, Animal Crossing. Thanks, me too. I'm having so much fun, I cannot express. Yeah, he's a dumb bull and I hate coach. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just hate that he says stubble and then he has this gross stubble. It's just all of it I hate. Not a fan, not a fan. A dab. Ooh, yay. Uh, okay, we got some new stuff. New stuff. It takes every day to grow, I think. That's weird. Because my peaches uh, are all back, and I, I got them all yesterday. But, they, but these aren't back. So, yeah, maybe it takes an extra day. Aw, a little sea butterfly. The sea butterflies are so cute. Um, yeah, let's swap it with something that's not that exciting. Maybe, maybe the giant clam. Cause I can just grab that again. Okay, let's go get rid of this stuff. Hi, Philbert. This is Philbert, my squirrel. He's so cute. Do do. Doo, 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 doo. There's Mary. Hi, Mary. I love her purse. Such a cutie patootie. You have Filbert too? Coconuts are more rare. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's wake him up. Wake up! <laughs> I also can't wait till we have clothes on my island. Like, I need the sisters. I'm gonna make a donation. It's just the one thing. Oh, and I have a couple um uh fossils to look at. Do you time travel? Yes, <laughs> I do. I don't always, but yeah, I, I definitely do. The Able Sisters. Yeah. The dab is a flatfish that bears some resemblance to all flounder, who we just got. Although their mouths are different. Personally, I'm more morbidly fascinated by each fish's eye placement. <laughs> Honestly, their eye placement's wild. Dab's eyes are both on its right side, whereas the all flounders are on the left. Oh, weird. These fish spend lots of time lying on their sides in the sand, so the odd eye placement makes some sense. But it's... How can I put this? Creepy. Viscerally disturbing. Profoundly upsetting to fans of symmetry. Yeah, I feel that. I rest assured all donations are displayed in a timely manner. I have my gratitude. Nice. Yeah, let's assess some fossils. I think being able to time travel makes me play even more. Honestly, same. So I don't like to wait for like everything. I like a little delayed gratification, but not so much, you know. 24 hours for a bridge. I know, right? It's just like, no, thank you. I found something that is not yet part of our steam collection. Yes! Okay. I don't like that sometimes he just takes it and sometimes he gives it back to you. I'm like, okay. Okay, one of them he already has. How do you time travel? I can show you in just a moment because we'll probably be doing that soon. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved parasaur torso. Ooh, yay, a torso. Not just heads and butts. Please tell me more about the parasaur. Para, okay, Parasauropolis, Ophilus, Office, Parasaur Office. I like to think of it as the beast with the golden tones. You see the three foot structure of the hollow bone atop its head may have been an elaborate noisemaker. Oh, cool. As in a dyed in the feathers optimist and music fan, I like to think it's serenaded the late Cretaceous. And that's what I have to say. <laughs> Parasaur. <laughs> Literally did not mean to send that. Parasaur. Parasaur? Is that what it is? I donated just my last fossil. Oh my gosh, congratulations. That's exciting. What time are you going to stream till? Um, I'm about an hour into the stream, so we'll probably do another hour. 
And I'll probably be too hungry <laughs> for lunch. All right, let's go sell some stuff. I have no idea. I've always said a parasaur alophus. Par parasaur alophus. Hmm. Okay, I want to sell some stuff. Oh, we need to check our turnip prices too. Don't let me forget. All right, selling that. I guess we'll sell that. How many Geo Pillagers do you have now? I have five. Ooh, 10K, nice. We've got some cash money, baby. Okay. I wanna check the turnip prices. <gasps> That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good, right? 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 Is this pretty good? Should I buy a bunch of turnips? I do have a lot of money. Should I go for it? That's pretty good, right? When does she nor how much does she normally sell them for? Get 30? Cause normally it's like over a hundred. That's pretty good pricing. I always say it like paramore. <laughs> <coughs> no, that's not good. Okay, I mean. Okay, people on TikTok or Twitch are saying it's good. She sells them for a hundred, so. 68 is bad for selling. Wait, what do you... You sell them to him, not buy them. Oh, I buy them from her. Okay, I was getting confused. So I buy them for her at 100, and then I sell them to him, and it has to be over 100. To buy it, it's fine, but to sell it, you're losing money. Okay, so I, I haven't bought any turnips. I thought this was the buying price. I got him confused. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. You only buy from Daisy May. Okay, 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 okay. Mine was like 450 yesterday. Wait, then that would mean that was really good because you're getting 400 times the price. Oh, to buy it's a sign, but to sell it, you're losing money. But I'm, but he can't. I can't buy any today. Okay, math be hard. Okay, this makes more sense. All right. No, none of that for me. <laughs> Math do be hard, guys. You have Happy Home Paradise. They're free on Monday. Best advice I've ever heard. They're free. What, what are free on Monday? I do have Happy Home. Okay. I sold all my stuff. I guess I could collect all the... Um, we could collect all the... Um, oh my gosh. The peaches and then we could time travel. What do you guys think? Math is the worst. You should time travel back to Sunday morning. You can only time travel forwards with turnips unless you can sell them, then you can time travel back. Uh, it's You don't have to hard gr uh, grind it for the bag. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait to do the turnip. I have enough money, honestly. I'm getting some good cash money right now. I'm like doing quite all right in the money department. I wanna know what this fishing boat flag is. Let's see. It might be cute. It's probably not that cute. Oh, it's it's cute, but it doesn't go with the room. So yeah, I'm not gonna put it up. The garden gnome is cute. I'm gonna put it outside my house. I think any time travel with turnips makes them spoil. There's, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I don't know. You might be right. Oh, look at him. He looks so cute. Look at my little outdoor. Oh, he's so cute. I love it. They rot as soon as you flip the day. Okay. You, okay. All right. Noted, noted, noted. Okay. Maybe we'll put some little flowers next to right here. For fun. I have it in my inventory, so I might as well just pop them over there. Yeah, nice. Nice. I actually think I want to move them over. That's, that's how you make a house a gnome. Exactly. You could visit my island and I could give you free bells. Oh my gosh, that's so generous of you. I definitely want to visit your guys' island at some point soon. 
I remember we used to do that and you guys gave me tours and gifts and it was always so fun. Uh, okay, that looks perfect. Okay, let's go collect all of the peaches for today. Today's peaches. Because you never, you know, might as well collect all the peaches per day. You can keep them, you can sell them, but they regrow every day, so you might as well, you know what I mean? Might as well collect the, the peaches. And this is why I think I should make them into a grove and like dig them all up and put them in one spot. Because it takes me a while to collect all the peaches every day. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Do you ever use the Twitch treasure islands people have on Twitch? See, I didn't know about this. I've never heard of it. Caitlin mentioned it to me yesterday, I think. And she was saying it's great. I feel like we should do it. We should do the Twitch Treasure Islands and come say hi to someone. These are my cherry trees and they didn't regrow either today, which is odd. Maybe I just, maybe I took the cherries off too late last night or something and it needs like a full 24 hours to grow. Maybe that's it. If you eat fruit and use a toilet, it's really funny. <laughs> I have not, I don't know if I've done that. That's really funny. Time traveled with turnips just can't go more than a week. Interesting. Oh my God, at the cataloging party is the height of lockdown. I know the cataloging party was super fun. I was like, Cassie, I might need to, you know, follow up on that again, do another cataloging. It's three days for all fruits and coconuts, I believe. Huh. Then I guess maybe it's just the peaches that regrow every day. Cause my peaches have so far regrown every day. But maybe it's just I have a ton of peach trees. Oh, hello. What's up, Savannah? Putting things away in my home so I'm finally freed up to meet and greet all my neighbors. I'm really grateful that you came by on my first day here to welcome me. So before I forget, I wanted to give you a gift to celebrate us being neighbors. Aw, what a sweetie pie. A stand mixer. Aw, take care. Okay, well, this is for my kitchen, apparently. That I don't have, but it's fine. Aw, that's a cute one. It's nice and yellow. What a cutie patootie. All right, I think we got all of them from this main area. So let's head up over here. Yeah, I don't remember if I've ever time traveled with turnips. I think I have it. Because I think I'd normally buy them from someone and go to my island. So they might have time traveled. Right? Or I've time traveled to like Sunday or something. And then I stay at Sunday, but I try and travel to someone else's island and then I sell them there. I think that's what I've done in the past. So I wait until someone tells me they've got like a good price and then I will time travel to them you have ick weather coming in perfect time for cozying up playing stardew or playing well stardew valley but also animal crossing and writing and reading books all right we got a excuse me we got a shovel we got a butthole you have other fruits of your island already. So, so far the fruits that I have are peaches. This is my main island fruit that I like started the island with. And then my, like my mom in the game sent me, not like my real mom, but like your mom in the game sent me some, um, some cherries. And so I planted the cherries. I've only ever had peaches to start on my islands though. I had peaches last time too. But I got sent cherry, so I have cherries on my island. And then I went on one island hopping excursion one time for fun. And I got um, coconuts there. So that's, oh, what are you? And that's what it, those are what I have so far. So no, none of the apples or any of the other ones quite yet. Cherries, oranges, and pears. Yeah, I don't have pears or oranges yet. I like cherries the most. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention because I was talking. Blech. Oh well, it's all good, I guess. <gasps> my stars, oh my God, I need to check all the beaches. I forgot. 
I did not check all the beaches for all my star. My stars. My wishing stars. I don't want to miss out on getting any of them before I time travel. Whew, that would have been that would have not been fun. It'll be a riding night. I already played Animal Crossing for the day. Nice. I think tonight I'm going to see a show. So that'll be fun. Ooh. Yeah, stars. Stars, stars, stars. Okay. All right, I think. That's all for this side. There's three rocks per island, right? I think there's more than that. I think there's four. There's two right here. And then I have one on the rock and one over there. I think there's at least four, if not five. Oh, wait. There it is. It's six. Okay, it's six. Hey, I was close. <laughs> Let's open this and see what it is. Ooh, more money! Yeah, boy. All right. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well in terms of cash in in this game. Doing pretty well. Okay, I think I already grabbed all of the other. Uh, stars on that side. So I'm just gonna check the trees over here. I think I got all of the peaches. Yeah, because I think all these trees are like the bigger trees. So I think I'm good. Isn't the fruit you get based on your birthday? Is it? Wait, that would make sense why I always get the same fruit. I didn't know that. Wait, that's so cute. Is it really? That makes sense why I'm always peaches. Which I think is cute because I'm in peach, okay? Okay. Got all my peaches. I'm gonna put 10 in my inventory in my house. Actually, I'll just keep it. And then we're gonna do a little cheeky time travel. I got different fruit though when I restarted, so I don't think so. Oh, okay. It might just be random. All right. Okay, I want to sell. This is making me want to restart my island. Do it. It'll be fun. We can hang out and do it together. All right, we're gonna sell all my peaches, but the ones, not the fossil, but the ten that I got collected. All right, I accidentally clicked the wrong button, so it's fine. I gotta sell more. <laughs> There's a couple more things I wanted to sell. Okay, yeah, we gotta sell the Venus cones. And that's it. I haven't played Animal Crossing in so long. I've been in Disney Dream Valley Cave. Nice. But it's making me want to go back to it. Join me. Although I love Disney Dream Valley too. You know what your last name means? In Uh, well, from what I've researched, my parents, like, didn't know off the top of their head. Um, I think it means, like, roadblock? Um, in Italian? I don't know. I don't know if that's really that true. I think it's just the last name. It's not a super common one. Uh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. You can always restart right away before it saves so you don't like the villagers or fruit. Oh, that's true. How many miles do I have? Oh, what's up, Mary? Is she gonna give me a gift too? It's pretty spectacular. Something new every day. And I'm totes growing both as a person and as a person who wants to be a pop star. She's so cute. Hold up, I just remembered. I thought maybe you'd like this, so here you go. Aw, she's giving me a gift. Everybody's so sweet today. Oh, a clothesline pole. Yeah, I can put a put it on somewhere. That'd be cute. Clothesline pole, so cute. Maybe we put it in front of here, like right here. Oh, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna, you know, hide that. But thank you, Mary. It's not quite the vibe. Okay. Are you playing the Princess Peach game when it comes out? Um, I probably will play it on my own. I don't know if I'll stream it or not. Because it looks pretty cute. You played Disney Dream Life Valley too? Nice. Brooke Holden, thank you so much for the rose. Lisa, thanks for the heart me. And Megan, thank you for the heart buff. Okay, let's assess some fossils. I'm watching you build the not so very blue generation house on YouTube. Nice. I enjoyed building that. I thought it ended up pretty cute. A Diplo tail tip. Okay, they already have one. Should have checked with him before I sold everything. No, I'm good. Thanks. Jolly good. All right, we're going to go sell that then. And then we're going to time travel. <laughs> so far, very cute. Oh, thanks. All right, here we go. Last time, last time, last time. <laughs> All right, here we go. I am offering this, this thing. Bones. Yeah, 4,000 sounds great. I'm doing pretty well in terms of money. I think I, I shall, I'll probably pay off my debt to, to Mr. Nook tomorrow. You're doing Barbie nails for the challenge. Cute. I love that. What's up, mask? All right. So I'm going to save here. I don't think there's anything else I need to do today that I haven't done. So we're going to, you save your game and you end it. This is, this is how to time travel for those who haven't done it before. So if you're wondering where Chewie is, he's literally inside his little <laughs> donut. He's just, sometimes he gets in donut mode himself. He gets a little flat. I don't have a shovel yet in my game. I can't dig up any bells. Oh no, you'll get the shovel pretty soon. You found two dreamies yesterday? That's so fun. Oh my gosh, who were they? I'm hoping to, to like do some hunting soon. If we can't do it today, we'll definitely do it another day. All right, so now that it's saved, I'm gonna go to my main screen and I'm going to close the software. This is, I think this is kind of important close the software and then you go over to system settings you scroll all the way down to system and scroll all the way down to date and time click on it unsynchronize so click off so that I can change the date and time and I'm gonna just scoot forward one day the 15th and click OK and then you go back and then you click on Animal Crossing and now because it's synced with like the time of your switch so now that you take it off the internet I can move forward a day. She's hacking the system. <laughs> yeah, we're in. <laughs> Just uh, followed you on Instagram. Thank you, Ashley. Actually, that's a good reminder for all of our friends on TikTok. If you don't mind following me on Instagram, please do so considering everything that's going on with the US and TikTok. I'm hoping that it gets resolved and you know people's livelihoods aren't just like removed. <laughs> because uh, the US decided to remove an app instead of put in place like proper laws to help, you know, adjust data. Like, I just don't understand why you would ban an app. I get that it's another, like it's owned by another country. So like they can't really put legislature on it. But like if they were really that worried about like our safety with like people knowing our data like why haven't they put in any other data laws <laughs> like europe has but anyway whatever point being i'm a little stressed about it so follow me on other platforms <laughs> but welcome to animal crossing again we're on the next day baby maybe we'll see some new flowers blooming Woo! yeah just in case it get bans i hope not i hope not too ashley <gasps> yay look it's built now Hello, it's Tom Nook. Happy Friday. I'm sure you can all guess what I'm going to tell you next. It's today's big announcement. As stated in previous broadcasts, today we've completed construction of the Resident Services Building. Hey. It's not the big news for today. We've also added someone to our island staff. <gasps> it's uh, Isabel. Isabel. Bam, 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 bam. Get over here, girl. Oh my God. 
<laughs> I love her so much. Isabel, as Mr. Nooks and I are part of the resident services staff on here on Luna Cove. While I still have much to learn, I will do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. So nice. Isabel has previously done resident support work, so I'm sure she'll uh, be a big help to everyone here. Hmm? Uh, yeah, just in case it gets it banned. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw a great YouTube video about safety and security, especially for AR, VR glasses coming out. What companies can do if they know what you are interacting with in person. Ooh. Did you see the Lego set? I did see the Lego set. I've got more to share. The building isn't the only new thing around here. We gave the plaza some much needed improvements as well. Let's go. It's for residents and visiting peddlers who take advantage of its prime location. But keep an eye out for occasional seasonal events too. Should be such fun for everyone. Yes, yes. Well, I believe that wraps up all my announcements for today. Except for one final thing. This is my very last broadcast. Starting tomorrow, Isabel will be our your new source of news for the island. Yay! Ah, I hope you'll tune in often. Yes, Isabel, we will. There you have it. New building, new island staff. We are growing, growing, growing. <laughs> thanks to you giving me your thanks for thanks to you giving me money. Find out what's new at Resident Services is easy as stopping by and acquiring. Hmm? Of course, we plan on holding a ceremony to commemorate the new resident services building. Yay! We'd love forever to take part. I believe that sums it all up. Isabel and I will be there to help you whenever you need us. Um, uh, when you go back to normal time, do you lose the things you did when you were traveling? No, you don't. You do not. Um, it normally just, like, it does sometimes lose certain things. So, like, you, if you have, like, if you've been doing the Nook Miles thing, sometimes it'll go back to 50 or something. But other than that, no, it just, it just like goes back in time to that. Time. All right, let's go into the mailbox. I got some Nook Miles. Nice. To celebrate the opening of the new resident services building, we have lots of new Miles Redemptive items available. Plus we have a new service for Nook pl Miles plus members to earn five times more miles. Nice. Let's see what the new present is. Oh, yeah, another Nook Miles ticket. Yeah, boy. What's up there? Okay. I don't know why I thought I saw something. All right, let's see about my flowers. Okay, no new flowers here. Our girl is working out. Go off, girl. How you doing? What's the latest? I swear I was smelling my dad's Papa's Brava, so I can't even call y'all. Aw. And oh my god, I got pink flowers! I got pink roses, guys! This is amazing! First new flowers! Yes, my pink roses, let's go! Okay, well, great. I'm gonna have to build a new watering can. Let's see about over here. Nothing here yet. I don't think, nope. All right, so just the pink flowers, but that's exciting still. And one of my trees popped up, yay! Give me that money, baby! Yeah, I am doing pretty well. Just a week and I already have like hundreds of... Oh, and there's another one. Sick. All right, let's 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 do it again. Shovel time, baby. Woohoo, dug up a thousand bells. I'm gonna put in 10,000. We're gonna, yeah, get out 10,000 bells. And we're going to bury it in the hole. Thank you. And that's how I made all my money. Fabulous, okay. And let's go check the beautiful new location. Yay! Would it be okay about tagging my Barbie nose? Yeah, feel free to tag me. You can get a watering can at the store. Oh, true, 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 true. Or I can just make one. New improved resident services, tent. Oh, did I say tent? Of course I meant building. And we wouldn't have built it without your help. Now, as mentioned in my broadcast, we need new support staff for a new building. So Isabel is here to take good care of us. Aw, she has my name. I just started today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all the ins and outs of my new job. 
But I'm already smitten with island life, so you can count on me to get my absolute best. Isabel and I will split up duties here to better support you all. Broadly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Isabel, I'll help you with general island matters and resident support. Sit at the appropriate counter when you need help, and we'll brush over into the swishes of a raccoon's tail. In fact, have a seat now so we can introduce you to some new services! Please sit at my counter. I hope you continue to support Luna Gro Cove and our resident services building. Okay, sick. I want to see if any other... A rested part in another cardboard box. You know, it's always good to steal these and then I can always sell them. The Nook Stop. We're sorry the Nook Stop was unavailable all day yesterday due to construction. To make up for that, we're giving any customers who access the Nook Stop today 500 miles! Yeah, your daily access bonus will now be set at seven plus days tomorrow. Hope you continue to use this Nook Stop. Yes. All right, let's look at some Nook Shopping. I want to see everything. Oh, a book. That one's cute. I like the book. We already have that. Mm -hmm. Sweatpants, little slides. Okay, this is what I've been purchasing like slowly over time. So I got about here and then I was going to buy all of these <laughs> and I didn't get to them. So we're going to work through all those. And we got a little shamrock door plate. Okay, what do we got with the other stuff? Nook Miles. A bell voucher. I don't know what that is. Pro camera app. Custom design pro editor. Yes. Okay. Wait. Go back. Okay. Ultimate pocket stuffing. Pro decoration license. Hip reaction collection. Yes. Body paint costume ticks. Explore new eye colors. I got some new fences. Donation box. Okay. I got lots of stuff to buy. Gang. Oh, the stall and the stone arch and the fountain and the outdoor bath and the silo and the robot. Oh my gosh. So many street lamp. Oh, I don't like the green one. That's so unfortunate. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to someone else's location to get a better lamp. And my phone box is white. I guess that's okay. I don't hate that. Oh, this plaza bench is cute. I like the black and gold. Oh, I like the pink can cotton candy stall. Ooh, plaza clock. I don't remember that from the last time I played. I feel like they were new. Ooh, my lighthouse is kind of cool. I kind of like this like kind of neutral color. Ooh, my teacups are kind of neat. Love that. How can I buy there? You just go up to it and you and you go to the Nook shopping, Nook Miles shopping. Okay, we got some wetsuits. Obviously got all these guys. Wah. Cool. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna try to pay my my house stuff soon since I've got a lot of money yeah oh I have some savings oh they put that my bells in savings for me interesting okay I forgot about that let's go talk to Mr. Nook first before I start buying everything because I don't know what he wants with me he looks cute. Oh, it's so cute. Yes, yes, this is the construction consultation center. Before we begin, allow me to quickly explain my services offered at my counter. In addition to my normal duties, I can also talk about issues related to island construction. There are lots of fun little projects that will make the island a more comfortable place to live, like bridges and stairs. I can help with building bridges or inclines, yes, such as moving ramps and stairs or even moving existing buildings. Yes. Optional extras for you to experience or for your island experience. Those services will, of course, incur additional fees. And with that information in mind, what do you think? How can I be of assistance with you? You wanted my help? You're already eager to hear how you can help out, hmm? Well, we've got a fine building for resident services now, and you're no doubt admire the plaza, hmm? It's primed and ready for major events, and if I have anything to say about it, to think that we started with a deserted island and now have grown into a bustling community. I want to do something grand to celebrate. I have big plans. Tell me more. I got your attention, hmm? Our goal <laughs> is to have the incredibly popular musician KK Slider come and put on a show here at Luna Cove. I'm sure you know who KK is, yes? I'm his biggest fan. I love his work. It's my favorite song. I always knew you had excellent taste, Kelsey. By the way, his song, KK Lament, is my go-to karaoke song. 
I'm sorry about that. You might guess I'm a big fan. And it's easy to get sidetracked talking about him. Back to our goal. I'm pretty sure he came to me in a dream one day. If we hold a KK concert here at Luna Cove, we could become a household name. We've done a lot so far to further the development of this island, but KK show would really be the culmination of all our hard work. I'd love your cooperation. Okay. But wait, I wanted to like get new islanders. Customization workshop. Learn how to customize your creations. Yes! I love it. Um, a Rex for a side with butter chicken other than rice and naan. Already making those. Ooh. Um, ooh, peas to butter chicken. Yum. Or to potatoes. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's do it. About the workshop. Let's hold the ceremony about my phone. Let's talk infrastructure. There's so many things to talk to him about. Let's hold the ceremony. Yes. Let's do it. This is exciting. Let's get started. Yay. Chewy left the room. <gasps> Look at Marlar Islanders. And also that, that flipping coach is here. Coach, you can just get out, coach. Get out. Ooh, chickpeas would be good. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Luna Cove's brand new resident services. Yay! Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Luna Cove is developing wonderfully. I must confess, I thought our little resident services building might be a tenant forever, but now here we are with a beautiful new facility the whole island can enjoy. Yay! Once again, I must thank everyone for our, who supported our event. Are we ignoring coach so he leaves? Yeah, actually, we should do that. And I would be at fault if I failed to acknowledge the strong ally who will help me run things from now on. Isabella, if you could grace our island friends with a few words. I'm so glad for this opportunity to say thanks to Luna Cove. Like Mr. Look says, I'm Isabelle. I haven't been on this island long, so I have a ways to go until I'm fully up to speed. But you bet your bottom bell that I can't help in any way I can. You need anything? Come see me. Can you smack the resident with the butterfly net enough till they choose to move out? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Coach does have the worst kind of stubble. It's so gross. It's so gross. Yeah. Oh, so cuties. And me and my weird Wario outfit. <laughs> Next, we'll get a few words from someone who made our brand new resident service building possible. Me. Anything to add? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you for heartfelt, encouraging sentiments there, Kelsey. Everyone, please get ready to join me in beginning the ceremony and bring the ceremony to close. Although those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the circle button. Here we go. With hope for our continued growth and celebrate Lunaco's beautiful resident services. Hooray! Ah, yay! Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care, care on your way home. So sweet. I love it. <laughs> all right. So, uh, what else did you have in mind, dude? Wah! Skirt! Oof. I do thank you so much for the rose. Brooke Holden, thank you for the rose. Alright, let's go chat with him again. Hello, hello! Okay, about that workshop. Yes, I'd love to customize more. Let's get started. Now I can customize my bed. All right, it is incredibly simple. First, you need the item you want to customize along with the required number of customization kits. Then you'll customize your item at a workbench. The design or color will change in the blink of an eye. I do believe you'll find this easier to understand once you try it yourself. So let's get started. Your goal for the session is to make a wooden wardrobe. Yes. I need one of those and do some customizing. This might be old news to you, but you could use your custom colored wooden wardrobe to put on your own fashion show. That freedom of expression is just the sort of thing we enjoy here on Ludico. Hmm? Oops, you're gonna need the DIY recipe for it first. Let me just send that over now. Your fishing rod just broke out. 
Do you think Animal Crossing is coming back? I feel like it wasn't popular for a while. Yeah, I do think it's coming back. I don't know why, <laughs> but people seem to be bringing it back. So I'm happy about it. Come see me after you get a wooden wardrobe. Hmm? I don't know. Okay. I kind of want a new outfit, but I think I'll wait to buy it. What does she do? I think she tells me how crappy my island is, which just share. Aw, she looks forward to being assistant. At this counter, I can help you with both general issues and issues you may face with other residents. Like kicking them out? But since you're here, I may well ask, do you have a specific concerns at the moment? I do. My first official request, I'm sorry, that wasn't professional, was it? Now then, how can I help you today? Discuss a resident. <laughs> Get coach out of here. Yes. I believe communication is key to solving all, any all dispute, but if you're already tired of talking with them, I will certainly intervene. I have no problem warning folks who use foul language or dress inappropriately. I want this island to be a welcoming place for all, so who do I need my help? Yeah. <laughs> Get coach out of here. Coach. <laughs> F coach. <laughs> it's, the, it's literally all of it. <laughs> The way he talks. Yes. Tell him, get out of here. I don't want to be called stubble. Found that cheesy disposition can be quite intimidating in certain aspects. Please let me know if you have any other folks who are giving you trouble. All right, well, that's, that's it then. <laughs> that's all I got. I almost forgot there's something Mr. Nook would like to discuss with you. When you have a moment, Please find him and ask, what should I do? Okay. I guess I'll go. He asked me to do, make the, um, the new wardrobe, right? With 12 wood. Do I even have 12 wood? I think I might have to go grab some wood. Nella, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. All right, let's do, oh yeah, and I forgot I, I'm missing my watering can. So I haven't gotten to water all my plants today. All right, so I have this hack where I always do this first because I kept getting stung by all the bees. So I go around and shake all my trees really quick just to make sure that nothing's gonna come and sting me. And then I go and grab the wood. <laughs> I got stung like three times in one day. I thought you'd only get stung once a day. But what should I do is probably the campsite. Oh my God, I hope so. Which means there'll be villager hunting next time. Blah. Wait, they don't sting you if you shake it. No, they they would sting you if you shake it. The thing is that they'll, it'll come out and I'm already equipped with my net. So I would catch them. If you catch them first before they sting you. So that's why I go up to the tree with my net first and I shake it just in case they come flying out. <laughs> that way I already have it applied here. What's up, my baby? I wanted to show you a reaction today. Yes, now I can't remember what it is. Oh yeah, it was that one. If y'all forgot something, just use mistaken like that. Sometimes it's fun to do it just cause. Where does that star even come from? Ah ha ha. I love it. Gotta, gotta, thanks, yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. This is so cute. <laughs> cute, that's so cute. All right, how much do I have now? Do I have enough? I've got seven and I need 12. Okay, so I need five more. All right, here we go. You good? Oh my gosh, I get so nervous. <laughs> Practicing my skills here. Okay. 
They scare me. Yeah, I know. My squirrel is so cute. Okay, that's two more. So I've got seven, eight, nine now. And none of those are normal wood, so I don't get that one. I already did that one. No, I gotta redo that too. Uh, okay, how much do I have now? 10, okay, that's not bad. I think I have enough to do it. Cause I have some saved at my house. Ooh. What's, what's in there? A plasma ball. Oh, cool. That's kind of cool. I just try and run into a building so they can't sting me. That is so smart. I hadn't thought of that. It's been a minute since I've done that. All right, let's put some stuff away. We're gonna put the plasma ball in storage, this rusted part. I'm gonna put my clothesline because I don't like it. The cardboard box. Oh, I want to sell that. And the stand mixer I want to keep. Okay, peaches we're gonna put away and we're gonna put away my star fragments as well. All right, and then, oh, Nook Miles, thank you. Stored some stuff, thank you very much. All right, now let's get the stuff to rebuild my items here. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. You love Earl Grey tea? Oh my gosh, same. All right, so I need all my, I'm gonna pull out the tree branches, some wood. Oh, I only have one wood. Crap. I don't know if that's enough. So yeah, I don't think I have enough wood. Dang it. All right, let's recraft. We do need, um, I do need my like watering can again. Keep crafting. Please and thank you. I would like to upgrade it to a watering can. And then I would like to keep crafting. My sister just came in today. I'm going to play this game. Oh my gosh, fun. We'll play together. All right, now we're going to craft an axe. We can get more wood. Use wood to make wood, apparently. Get a stone axe. Yeah. All right, we're all done for now. And now I have only eight wood. And I didn't use any hardwood and hardly any tree branches and some softwood, yeah. Well, oh, there's even more here. Move these up here. I like when they sit all in a line up there, my little items here. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to put the Nook Miles ticket up next to the other one. We got our tickets sorted. Raring to go. We're going to sell this. Clump of weeds. All right. So we need a couple more things. You're playing New Horizons 2. You continue to be one of my favorite over and over again. Oh, fun, Celeste. I love that. Thank you. All right, let's grab my net. I'm gonna go across the bridge. Get some over here. Okay. Ugh, coach. <gasps> Is he mad about something? I'm just gonna ignore him. If I don't talk to him, he can't hurt me, right? Wow, I feel like I was being such a, ooh, a drama queen. Like acting like I always get stung and there's not a single one. I had like a whole hack and everything and nothing. All right, well, I'm dramatic. How do you run so fast? Do you hold down B while you're running? 
while you're moving around. Should we just bed right now? Nah, he left the room. Chewie has left the building. Be careful the minute you say no bees. I know, right? Then the wasps will come. Okay, I grabbed it. All right, that's nine. I need 12. I'm always running low on wood, but never the other types of wood. It's so random. Maybe it's just I don't have enough like hardwood things to build lately. Softwood sometimes I'm low on too. Speaking of which, thank you. How have you guys been so far? Have, are any of you guys playing this game with me right now? Have you been playing something else lately? Are you still in your Sims eras? Okay, let me see. Whoop. Okay, I'm at 14. So I've got plenty, but I'm gonna kind of keep going because I'm in the zone now. I'm playing Fortnite with my sister. I had to take a pause on watching the Not So Bear Blue Generation house build. Oh, nice. It's fun. Tell your sister we say hey. I'm playing. Animal Crossing with you. I'm buying Fauna a farm. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. I'm playing Sims doing the Zodiac challenge. Ooh, how's that going? Which, uh, er which like gen are you on? Always in my Stardew era. I know, right? I love Stardew. I'm excited for the upgrade, the new update. Playing Assassin's Creed. Ooh, I like Assassin's Creed. Which which one? Currently building the massive house for my Sim storyline. Ooh, cool. Love it. Valhalla. Oh, that's a good one. You start playing Sims because of me? How fun! I love that. Oh wait, I'm gonna grab you. Okay. Let's go build the thing so we can finish learning how to DIY stuff. And then after we do that, we can hopefully open up our uh, campsite. Yes. yes. All right. What's up? What's up, dude? Oh, wait, I need to build the thing. Just kidding. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that really quick. I just want to build the thingy first. Yes, we're going to Okay. Yes, we're gonna craft the wooden guy here. I wouldn't made a wooden wardrobe. All right, now what? I got the wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I'll give you the customization kits you'll need in a moment. For now, please step up to the workbench. Easy peasy. Let's do this. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I placed some customization kits within your belongings. So go ahead and try customizing your wooden wardrobe. Yay! Okay. Ooh, we're getting a little light wood, a little dark wood, a little cherry wood. Mmm. A blue or pink. I think I'm going to go with a dark wood vibe. Maybe. For fun. Yes. I'm okay with this design. Yeah! So excited. How long have you been playing? About an hour and 50 minutes I've been playing. Yes. A graduate, uh, you'll be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now for the most part, most part, you can customize furniture and other items you made as DIY projects. However, some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. Yeah, I can't wait. I love customization. Ooh. Take a break. No, I will not take a break. No, thank you. Let's keep going. You signed up for my email list. I can't wait to read a book. Thank you so much. I can't wait to share the book with you guys. Uh, I've been a fan of your ages. Congratulations on the book. Thank you, guys. I've, I have some new book news. I know I've been teasing it for weeks now, but 
We are closer than ever of me announcing some really exciting news. I've been working really hard on, on my end right now. So I'm excited to share more with you guys soon. All right, what should I do? Are you ready to hear about the details of my plan to draw KK here to hold a concert? I, pro I call it Project K. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. We, next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents and we'll create a Luna Cove so loved. Wor a word of how great this island is will reach KK and he'll accept our offer to host a concert here. We'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite. I did write a book. It's a young adult fantasy. If you're interested in knowing the synopsis, you can head over to my email list and sign up and you get sent an email with the synopsis there. The email list is just like to show that you're interested in the book. It's where I will send like the pre-order when the pre-order's up and any of all, all, all the other details. It's just me on the other end of the email list. So you know, you're not gonna get like a bunch of like random ads. It's just gonna be me giving you direct information about the book. You can choose the song that you want him to play. Oh, nice, yeah. I was just thinking about restarting my island. You should do it. Can I visit you? I got a question for you. How can I get rid of one of my animals on the island? If you have a lot of questions, I do recommend Google is your best friend with Animal Crossing. I do Google, I Google stuff like this all the time because I'm still remembering all of these things. So I'm pretty sure to get someone to leave your island, you just ignore them. But I bet there's other tips that they have online that I might not have. Or honestly, that our other users um, in the chat might have as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know that one exactly because I'm trying to do the same thing right now. So we'll figure it out together. Um, but yeah, on campsite, we'll make it easier for visitors to experience life here and it'll make for great PR material too. Uh, you can choose a song that you want to play. Yes. And Susie Kesey, thank you for, for looking at my book email list. Okay. So this is the information about making the... A little campsite. Yes. Pick a great spot on the island for your new campsite. I'm counting on you. Yes. All right, campsite time, baby. Let's do it. Yes, I want to craft something. Is it? Is it? It's right here. Here we go. All right, we need 15 wood. I already have the hardwood, and I don't think I have the iron nugget either. So we need the iron nugget and the wood is like the main two things I need to go grab. All right, let's go see what we have already at my house. Sign up for updates. Can't wait to read and we'll have a stream book club. Yes, we'll have to have a book club. It'll be so great. What's up, Morgie? Best way to get rid of villagers by time traveling. There are instructions online, but ignoring them, outcasting them, hitting them with the net, et cetera, doesn't work. Okay, so there you have it. Yeah, just searching it, honestly, online is always the best. <laughs> I love it. It's how I get all my like flowers in the right spots all of it i was just surprised to hear that you have a book too yeah i read a book i'm actually working on my second book right now um but yeah and i just got snow globe oh, what? it's so cute i don't remember getting a snow globe that's so cute um i just uh my most recent news on the book has been that I have a agent who's representing the book and and working on selling it to publishers. Um, and we'll give you guys updates on publishing and things like that once we have them. All right, so we need these. Ooh, I have 14. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty close. So in terms of items for building this, I'm just missing one iron nugget and a bunch of wood. So I guess we're gonna go get more wood. <laughs> You're right, why a fantasy too? Nice. Are you new to Animal Crossing? I'm not new to Animal Crossing. I have over 260 hours in this game. I played it so hardcore for so long, uh, but this was back in 2020 and 2021. So it's been like years ago that I played this game. So I literally forgot like most of it. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm kind of relearning a lot of it um, as I'm restarting my island, which has been a lot of fun. Just join the email. Thank you, Kate Walker. I really appreciate it. It's also very helpful for people to join the email list so that I can show publishers like who's in, oh, that I already have a big group of people who are interested in reading the book, which is always a great selling point. Okay. Ooh, we got some more wood here. All right. We need to get up to, I think it was 15. 
We got 10 right now, so we got five left. What are these? Do these guys give wood? Is it just soft wood? No, they give nor all the wood. Perfect. I'm gonna keep doing this. So we got, I think we're, yeah, we just need, I think three more pieces of wood. Yeah, we're at 12. I already got that one. I feel like I've already gotten a lot of this wood in this area. What is the book about? It's a fantasy retelling of The Little Mermaid. That is correct. It's a YA fantasy retelling of The Little Mermaid. Complete with romance, enemies to lovers, found family, you know, ocean adventure, lots of fun, magic. I started to write a book, but lost interest. That happens to a lot of people, so I bet, I bet you're amongst a lot of friends. You know, it'll always be there for you to return to. Growing up, it was like always my dream to be an author. I obviously didn't dream to be a um, YouTuber because that wasn't a thing when I was growing up. But uh, yeah, I always wanted to be a writer and I loved telling stories, which is why I got so interested in The Sims and why, because uh, that kind of is a lot to do with storytelling. And also making YouTube videos has to do with storytelling. But my my first and truest love has always been writing. Um, but I ended up kind of going down the acting path first. And that all worked out pretty great. But then during COVID, I, I, you know, I was reintroduced to my love of writing. I always loved reading. I read a lot. And uh, decided, you know, to heck with it. I'm just going to write, you know, my novel, see how it goes. I wrote it and I really liked it and I was like, you know, I would love to share it with people. And thus began the process of me querying it, looking for agents, and after a lot of rejections, I finally found someone that took a chance. Uh, unsurprisingly, mermaid books are not the most popular, um, so it was kind of hard to get someone to get on board <laughs> with selling a mermaid book, but now uh, there we have it. Do you ever want to self-publish? I'm not really currently interested in self-publishing. Uh, I'm more, or I'm already kind of invested in the traditional route, but I do think self-publishing is pretty neat. And um, I love reading indie authors as well. So yeah, I'm working on a story since I was 22. I'm almost 37. Wow. my I think my book took about two years to write. And the second one, I think I'm on my second year writing it. I've like finished one year writing my second book and now on to the second year of writing it. So hopefully I finish that second book this year and I can start on my third book because I need to do that. <laughs> ah, but yeah, it's been, it's been super fun. Hi, uh, uh, Asia Marie Stone. It's good to see you. Thank you for watching with your daughter. How sweet. What villages do you have? I have, well, the one over here. So I've got Savannah. I've got Mary, who I was very lucky to have. I have Filbert. I have um, Coach, who I hate. I have, oh my gosh. I feel like I have a couple more, but I forget. Oh my gosh, I love that I got my first pink flower. Let's go, pink flowers. I wrote so much, I got distracted by life and now I'm working on it again. Yeah, it happens, man. You also grow as a writer over time, for sure. Like, I'm having to rewrite a lot of my first book because I've just changed a lot. The Blue Raccoon. The Blue, you mean uh, Filbert? That's, the, he's a squirrel. Do I have a Blue Raccoon too? Oh, Deidre, I also have Deidre. Did you watch Grey's Anatomy? I did used to watch it back when it first was out, but I ha I haven't watched it since uh, like the third or fourth season or something. My friend did it for me, kick out one of my animals on the island. Oh, good, that's awesome. There you have it. 
Good to have friends to help you along the way. I started my first books for my master's in creative writing. Writer's block is so rough. Oh yeah, for sure. Congratulations though. So many more writers in the chat than I thought. That's awesome. Okay, let's grab. Oh God, I forgot I needed iron. Dang it. <laughs> so annoying. My phone got to be dead, so I'll have it uh, on later, if you'll be honest. No worries. Sometimes your phones die. It's part of it, you know? It's part of the fun. Did I already do this one? I forget. Hopefully not. We'll see. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Nothing, nothing there. Okay, here we go. Nope, I haven't done this one yet. Oh no, I'm sliding the wrong direction! Oh, dang it. Yep, I just missed it, okay. Well, that one didn't include any iron, so annoying, but it's fine. It's always good to have extra items for, for future crafting. Let's go find my other. I've got one of six that I've just done, I think. There's another one. We also haven't found the golden hole yet this stream, so, you know, always things to do on the island here. Do you watch anime? I've watched animes before. I don't watch it. I haven't been watching any of them currently, but I like Spy Family. I've watched a lot of um, like slice of life romance animes are kind of my favorite. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I don't want to brag, but I feel like I've been making so much money lately. I should just go like pay off my my debt since I can't carry any of it anymore. <laughs> Gotta put some in the bank. Oh my gosh, we got a request for a stretch. Thank you, Dana. I'm gonna stretch to this left. And stretch to the right. We're all good. Nice and stretched. All right, let's go pay my bills really quick. Why the holes? Cause it bounces you back and there's like a timer. So if you don't like hit it enough quickly, then um, it'll like not, you won't get to get all six of the, or all nine of the items or whatever. And so the holes keep you from bouncing too far back that like you have to walk forward again and then it takes away time. Okay. Fairy tale. Oh yeah, I've watched a little bit of fairy tale. It wasn't for me though. Loan payment, pay for my pockets. Yeah, I'll just pay pay all of it yay and then I think I still have a lot of money in my pockets honestly look at them f celebrating me paying my home loan thanks guys loan free baby I'll put like some money back into my savings as well put like 20 there you go now I'm like underneath the total that I have to yeah, I'm more of like a, you know, I'm more of like a, I've watched like a lot of different anime. I've watched Jujutsu Kaisen. I've watched, not all of Jujutsu Kaisen. I've watched My Hero Academia. But my favorites are the cute slice of life stuff with like the romance, like uh, in the comedies. I like the comedies too. Things like, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? Or on high school host club, like that kind of stuff. Or there was one that was like, like the ones where like the boys and girl fall in love, but they're like, they're like annoyed with each other. Like fruits basket, things like that. Okay, let's go find another rock. Isabel is the cutest. She's such a sweetie pie. Also, we need to, for we can't forget to go to people's houses to see if they're like working on stuff. It's always good to check that as well. Here's one. Sign of Affection. I have not watched Sign of Affection. All right, hopefully they won't bounce me back too much this time. All right, here we go. Yes, finally, iron. Boom, got them all. Perfect score. You signed up for the newsletter? Thank you, cat.
games I play on Switch right now, it's like Stardew Valley. I play Animal Crossing. I play Disney Dreamlight Valley. I played uh, Legend of Zelda. Yeah, we're gonna go build the construct. I watched a huge amount of anime, but Yuri on Ice will have in my heart forever. Oh, cute. You're lying, April. I watched some of it, but it's not fun. I like them funnier than that. <laughs> that one's too a little too slow for me. Oh. Aww. I'm sure Hummus quite comfy in the current configuration, but what if it could be bigger? Oh, how? I assure you that it could indeed be bigger. A bigger home means more space and furniture and more storage, too. But now that I have introduced some possibilities, I'll leave it at that. Do please come if you'd like to hear more. Well, we're going to build our house bigger, but we definitely want to build our current craft, which is the campsite construction kit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fay Farm? Yeah, a little bit of Fay Farm. Uh, my favorite game is probably... Mm, I mean, my favorite games of all times are Zelda, but Sims 4 is probably one of my favorite games for sure. Obviously. Palea? You know what? I fell off of Palea. Are you guys still playing it? Is it fun? Has it been updated? Okay. I'm so excited, guys. We're gonna get... We're gonna be able to start hunting characters. I'm so excited. Where can I find the Stardew Valley streams? Well, I haven't streamed Stardew Valley in a while. I think I streamed it in 2021. And we did a bachelorette version where I like dated all the different characters. It was really fun. All right, let me look at my map and kind of sort out where I want this to go. Okay, so right now we kind of have them all in like in a line down here and then I have Savannah up there on her own. So maybe I'll put it up near Savannah. Yeah, I think over near, or like above, above Mary would be fun. But Mary's like area is kind of busy. I could have just put it above like coaches stuff. Maybe I'll put it above where coaches. So co these two are here. I put it like up here. There's all these trees though, and I kind of like the trees. I could put it here. Mm, I feel like I'm gonna end up moving it anyway. I do like it being over here though, but there's so many trees here. It's kind of already busy. I mean, I guess I could just knock down this tree. Let me see what it looks like right here. Now I want to push it back a bit. All right, let's see. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna imagine it. Oh, they removed the other tree. That was like in front. I didn't want to remove that tree. All right, what about? Okay, what if? Hmm. I could put it right here be right here let me imagine it I'm pretty sure they'll remove that tree um, I feel like I'm gonna keep moving it I'd go up the next level but honestly like I don't even have stairs yet so I kind of don't want to put anything up there at the moment that I can't reach by just walking around I'll imagine it here. I might just put it here. I probably will end up moving it at some point. So yeah, let's do it. This is perfect. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. Pick the spot for the campsite. Future campsite. Perfect. It's cute. I like it. Although, wait, is it ruining my view? Oh no, it's behind me. Oh no, I shouldn't have put it there. Oh well, it's fine. I was like, it's behind my house. I don't want it. Maybe I'll have to put like a privacy tree right next to it. <laughs> it only costs 10,000 to move, I believe in the future. Okay, that's not that bad. Could be way worse. Way, way worse. Well guys, we've placed it. So I think next time we will be uh, 
dreamy hunting a little bit, which will be so fun. Uh, thank you guys all so much for tuning in. It was a great time to hang out with you guys, relax. I'll see you guys again on Sunday for stream and hopefully on Saturday for my new YouTube upload. Um, it's Yes, I'm leaving. I normally only stream for two hours and it's been two, hour, two hours and 15 minutes now. So it's about that time for me to go get lunch. I'm quite hungry. It's actually four o'clock and I haven't really eaten a meal in a while. So uh, I'm gonna peace out, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. It was super fun hanging out. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.